Hey guys, Driver02 here, coming at you from Vintage Iron Garage, and today on a bit of a sad note. One of the first tools that I ever purchased, that I've kept with me throughout all these years, is no longer. <laughs> My favorite little bench vise. It's about, you know, it's not too small, but it's not too big. I found it was just the right size for a for a small workbench and I bought this thing when I was maybe 13 years old something like that I remember saving up my paper route money and uh, and when they went on sale I went out and bought it and I mounted it to an old bench in the backyard and you know it got a bit rusty so I, I painted it yellow and oddly enough that yellow paint is you know it's still there it's held up all these years Anyways, uh, well, it's done for now. It is just a, a cheap Asian imported vice, so, you know, it's no big loss really, but, uh, you know, this thing's been a part of my workshop life for a long time. So, <laughs> a little disappointing, but I mean, it definitely served its purpose. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely got my, my money out of it. And that's okay, I have a couple replacements, so why don't we just take a look at those for a minute. I got the wood stove just humming over here. It's that kettle steaming a bit, you can hear. It is throwing a lot of heat today. So it's not too cold out, but it's it's a little bit chilly today. There's, you know, it's overcast. So we just need a little bit of heat to keep the shop you know, at a comfortable temperature. So the first replacement contender would be this small red vise. Now it's a fair bit smaller than the one I had here. And it doesn't have the base. Um, and it's probably just a little bit weak for what I want to do on this bench here, so I probably won't mount this one. This is a nice little vise though. I'm just looking to see where it's made. It doesn't say, so I don't know. I guess it's an imported one. Well, we'll put that one aside for now. And the next contender would be this old guy. And I was actually 100% sold on it until I just no noticed now that this has been repaired. So this one's actually broke at some point in time. And someone welded it with probably a nickel rod or something. So, I don't know, it looks like a pretty good repair though. It doesn't show any signs of uh, cracking or weakening over time, so uh, this might still be an okay vice. Uh, so that's a number 450. What is this? There we go. Littlestown Hal and, and Forey Company. Oh. Made, made in USA. Okay, so at least this is a good old American made vice. It's got the nice stamping pad and a little anvil thing on the back, so similar to what I had there. And it's about the same size physically, but it's it's a fair bit taller, which isn't bad. It'd probably be fine. And well, I do have one other contender in the shop, and that would be this vise that's mounted on this little pedestal here. So. It's a little bit bigger than the one I had, which is probably just about the right size now. It's again just an imported one, and this is another one I bought, you know, much later on in life. But you know, I I bought it, uh, you know, saved up my money, went and bought it on sale. So it's just another Asian import. It's a Mastercraft from Canadian Tire, and I put it on this stand to make it. You know, versatile and sort of just like a pedestal vice, so. 
and it works pretty good. So I kind of don't want to <laughs> take it off here. But I've been thinking about making it a little shorter anyway. It's a good height if you're working right here, but if you're mounting something and it's, you know, something that sticks up a bit, then, you know, it gets to be a bit difficult to, you know, be welding or grinding on stuff that's, you know, up here. So, uh, I've been thinking about shorting it, shortening it or making it adjustable. So maybe I could shorten it and I could put the bigger old antique vise on and, and then maybe I could put this one on my bench. So. I don't know, I don't know. So I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to mount this antique vise onto this bench here. And I'm not even going to bother to try and repair this one. Because if you look at it closely, like we know it broke here. But it's cracked there as well. There's probably other cracks. So, you know, it's it's done. It's time to say goodbye. So that guy's going to go. This one... I'll uh, I'll clean it up. I'll paint it, and then I'll I'll get it mounted to this uh, bench here, and this will be my new vice. Because <laughs> this, you know, this old antique vice, it it deserves to be uh, to be used. It shouldn't just be you know sitting in the back of a shop on the floor anywhere. So so why not? I have it, and that's probably the simplest. And then like if I ever want to modify that other thing, well, I can that can be another project for another day. I'll just you know, deal with what I have to to get myself a vice on this bench again, and that'll be that. So, all right, I'm not going to deal with this right now, but we'll come back to this a little bit later. All right, so we're back to square one here. I was wire wheeling up this vice to clean it up, and I was going to paint it Chevrolet orange, uh, but it is actually cracked here. Um, it's broken back here, and the crack extends forwards a fair bit so so I mean this has already been repaired once and that looked like a pretty decent repair I probably can't really do any better so so I think I'm gonna give up on this vice uh, which is unfortunate but I mean maybe if I could find the, uh, the front jaw for it well that's actually a thought maybe I'll look on eBay Okay, so the conclusion to my bench vice saga is this. I went out and I just bought a new vice. So luckily these are actually on sale for half price this week. So I kind of lucked out there. And I got the 5 inch, which is the same as my bigger one over by the saw there. And this is a 4 inch, so it's a little bit bigger. Uh, it's what I really needed on this bench. And so I'm just going to do that. So it's pretty nice. According to the package, it you know comes in this like black sort of powder coated kind of finish. So I was gonna I was gonna paint it up because I always paint my vices, but if it's uh, got that nice finish, I'll just leave it. Oh, it's pinching my finger. Jeez. Oh, There, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, it is a nice, like, sort of gunmetal gray or black. I don't know what you call it, but it's pretty nice. I'll leave it. And then when it gets all ratty and crummy looking, I'll give it a shot of dirty old yellow or, or Chevy orange or something. So this has, oh no, it's just three mounting lugs, okay. But it's bigger pattern than this one, I believe, so I'll have to drill new holes. And I think this one just barely cleared around this, yeah, around this leg here, so 
Okay, so this one will clear even better then. That should be fine. I can maybe reuse one of those holes. And I'll need a new center hole in the back. Well, this is just my kind of luck. So I'm drilling new holes. I'm just pilot drilling them. There's the center one. There's the one on this side, and then I was going to reuse this one. Of course, this lines up perfectly <laughs> with this uh, rod that's through the old hardwood tabletop on this bench. So, oh man, so now I'm going to have a hole there. Well, I guess I'll just move it over and use this one. Uh, and then I'll have to drill another one around here, and then a new one here. So I have two holes exposed on my bench now. Okay, there we go. That's much better. So I needed a bigger vise on this bench, and so hopefully this one will serve me well. So it's it's funny. I remember buying this one, like I said, when I was like 12 or 13. And I'm pretty sure I paid either 20 or 25 dollars on sale, and they've really gone up in price now. Like this one. I just bought for fifty dollars on sale. It was regular a hundred, and I believe this one was pretty close to that. It was uh, a regular like seventy or eighty bucks. So, you know, on for like uh, thirty-five or something. It's like they've uh, they've really gone up in price, uh, but luckily I got it on sale, so that helps. Okay, so just one last thing to do. Take this. There. Rest in peace, my friend. <laughs>